Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. And today we're going to be practicing with word problems. In this lesson, we're going to have to match a word problem to a picture to help us solve the problem. We're going to have to determine whether the word problem wants us to add or subtract, but don't worry, we have those addition and subtraction keywords that will help signal us whether we're going to have to add or subtract. Let's read the directions and get started right away, and I'll remind us of some of the great word problem skills that we've acquired over some of our previous lessons. Party problems. Read the word problem. Trace on the dotted line to connect each problem with the correct picture. Then check the correct answer to each problem. Let's read the first word problem carefully one time. Then we'll reread the word problem and underline the important information. We'll look for those addition and subtraction keywords as well. Dave made three flags, eight stars, and eight lanterns. How many decorations did Dave make all together? Okay, I heard the word all together at the end, so I think it's an addition problem. But Let's reread the problem again and underline or pull out some of the important information and keywords. Dave made three flags, eight stars, and eight lanterns. How many decorations did Dave make all together? Okay, so we have that he made three flags, eight stars, and eight lanterns, and we want to know how many he made all together. So we know he made three flags, eight stars, and eight lanterns. So, let's find the picture first that matches this. Well, I can see right here there's three flags, so I'm already starting to think that this picture is the correct one. I know there's eight stars, so let's count the stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I also know there's eight lanterns, so let's count the lanterns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this must be the correct equation. So let's trace on the dotted line. But the question asks, how many decorations did Dave make all together? So we're gonna have to add three plus eight plus eight to find out how many decorations Dave made in total or all together. So we can add in any order that we want because the commutative property says so. So let's add the doubles fact of eight plus eight I know that 8 plus 8 is 16. That's one of my doubles facts. We can bring down what we have left over, which is 3 plus, which makes our new problem 3 plus 16. Let's count on 3 from 16. 16, 17, 18, 19. So 3 plus 16 is 19. So the total number of decorations that Dave made is 19. Let's read our next word problem and see if we can match it to a picture to help us solve it correctly. The second problem reads, Laura made five flags, six stars, and three lanterns. How many decorations did Laura make in all? Okay, let's reread this problem, and again, we'll underline the important information and keywords. Laura made five flags, six stars, and three lanterns. How many decorations did Laura make in all? Okay, so I hear that keyword in all. So again, I think we're gonna be adding everything up together to find out how many we have in all. I know she made five flags, six stars, and three lanterns. So let's look at the picture to see which one shows five flags, six stars, and three lanterns. Well, in this picture, I see one, two, three, four, five flags, so I think that's correct. I also see one, two, three, four, five, six stars, and one, two, three lanterns. So this must be correct. We can trace on the dotted line to this picture. Now, we have to figure out how many decorations she made in all. So we're gonna have to add five plus six plus three to find out the total. Again, the commutative property says we can add in any order we want. So for me, I'd just like to add five plus six to get started. 
I know that another way to say six is five plus one. So really the first thing I can do is just add five plus five. And five plus five is 10. What I have left is plus one, because I got that from six. And then plus three. I can easily add one plus three. One plus three is four. Again, I can bring down what I have left of 10 plus, and now I have 10 plus four. And I can count up from 10, or count on from 10, four more. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I know 10 plus four is 14, meaning that Laura made 14 decorations in total. Let's go ahead and check the correct answer. Remember, boys and girls, when you're solving word problems, having a picture to help really makes a lot of sense. So if you have the time, draw yourselves a picture that will not only help you get the correct answer, but will help you write an equation that matches the word problem, which you may need. Thanks for watching, boys and girls, and we'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.